Hey there, sons of Aquarius. This is Kim here to do your reading for you all for your next 48 hours. Hope everybody's doing great. We are going to start with, I think this, this, um, let's see, where is it? The Shaman's Dream. We're going to start with the Shaman's Dream and some Oracle cards, and then we're going to get into your tarot reading for the next 48 hours. Spirit guides, angels, if you could give us uh, some messages, please, for the sign of Aquarius, for the better good, for the better good, highest good. I always say that, though. I always say for the better good. Um, I don't know. So, let's see. Thank you for subscribing, and thank you for those who have donated. Check out the box. You can get a reading with that. Just allow 24 hours for it to get to you. And Aquarius, one more shuffle and we'll be ready. Let's see what the shaman's dream has to say to you. First card out, dances on one foot. It feels, it feels like a two of pentacles energy, kind of. Because something is a balancing act here. Something's a balancing act. Dust devil moving out of stagnation. Something's going to come and, and kind of five by five, five it <laughs> to your life. Dust devil. Something's definitely going to move out of stagnation. Time for a me talks, Aquarius. A me talks. Preparing the mind, body, and spirit. And then you have the lay of the land with ancestral wisdom. Something being passed down to you by your ancestors regarding things that are being passed down. Spiritual gifts, I feel. Um, things also could be inherited. You could also be inheriting some karmic cycles from past. So we have to be careful about what we're dealing with and how exactly that we want to deal with it so let me get the let me get the book here for dances on one foot actually i should just leave them back out here until i'm done all right number nine dances on one foot this is a balancing act it's also saying yes to life Okay, so that's kind of like the dust devil moving out of stagnation energy. It says, when this one shows up, you are asked to be graceful and move into a different pose. When it feels like you're losing your balance, like if you're thinking, oh, if I only had more, life has provided you with everything you need to accomplish and fulfill your mission here. And when it feels like you're losing your balance, do not contract, holding your arms close to your chest for you will fall. Instead, reach out and extend them fully, saying yes to grabbing spirit's steady hand. Isn't that nice? That's nice. Dust devil. Embrace the chaos, trust in the process, and moving out of stagnation energy. Good for you, Aquarius, because you have been stuck in this kind of, I don't want to say stuck, because we're never really stuck, but we have been learning things from this energy of where, how do I go? How do I get there? Okay, it says stop asking for things to be perfect. Kind of the same, <laughs> same message right here of I don't have enough. Um, it says uh, stop asking for things to be perfect, awkward, messy, conflicted, exuberant, and wild is how you shift. Trust the process. When the dust devil knows what you need, it knows what you need, and it knows when you need it. And when things settle, you'll see the gleaming jewels awaiting your discovery, the wisdom awaiting integration. Nice. So this metox might be talking about a detox for the body or metox for the spirit, clearing things out, letting go that nine energy, letting go. When the Metox card appears, it was challenging you to discard deep, dearly held judgments that you've passed over yourself and others. It's a tough pill to swallow, but yes, release these feelings that you have. It's time for clearing your proverbial house. Get rid of thoughts and personal judgments poisoning your mind and eliminate any in inauthentic beliefs that you've adopted as your own. Stop poisoning your food with junk food, your body with junk, junk food, fast for a day, skip a meal to allow your body to cleanse itself and rid itself of its toxins. 
Metox appears as a warning that you can no longer postpone the self-care and pampering you long for. The time is now, Aquarius. Do healthy maintenance for your body before you have to make repairs that you never quite can recover from. Goodness. So dramatic. Uh, lay of the land is past lessons, being well-informed, and ancestral wisdom. It says it's a wonderful time to seek a mentor or good advice from an elder or expert. This way you'll be able to meet life's opportunities and challenges well-informed. Knowing how to map them, you can be curious of what else is here too. This is a path that promises success in all areas. Where others you have dared to tread, you will discover the treasure they have left behind you was to make your own. All right, so that is our Oracle message for the sign of Aquarius. You're gonna hear a coffee maker in the background, but you should be able to hear me over that since I'm closer to the microphone. So what issues or, um, yeah, what issues do we have for Aquarius? What's coming up for their next 48 hours? Persistence, standing strong, standing up for what you want, guarding what's yours. I feel like this is a little bit about putting some boundaries and walls up too. So just be careful with that. Um, you don't want to have anything limit you, but then again, you know, maybe this is you guarding your emotions too. I'm kind of feeling like it might be that, even though I know this card is about persevering and it's kind of like about courage, but I feel like the walls may be put up for, because of some other reason. So what's the challenge? The two of wands is a challenge. Getting back your drive and your focus and seeing these other possibilities, that is the challenge for you. That's the challenge. So what's the root of this for Aquarius? What's the root? What's causing this? All right, well, you're persisting. And your goal is to stay focused. Your challenge is to stay focused. Look, we have three of cups in the Hierophant on the bottom. Page of cups is that hopefulness for that new start, new beginning, and maybe love. Maybe love. Maybe it's saying don't, don't give up in love with the Hierophant here in the three of cups. Could be representing a Cancer Scorpio Pisces child. Whoa. Okay, past energy. Coming up justice in the world. Woo, talk about some strong, talk about some strong energies. Finding a balance and getting things balanced was the concern of whatever chapter or opportunity you started in the past. It was, its goal was to balance. Its goal was to balance. You truly wanted to meet your milestones. Look how they kind of continue here. Like a little bit. So the present energy could be one of meeting your twin flame. It could be something like a goal, like achieving um, your first house or buying a house, putting money down for something. It's big changes, big changes. I feel like that wants to come out with it. Wow, some people it's marriage, commitment. We have the two of cups. It is. It, it feels like this is a match made in heaven. Like this is a perfect thing for you. This is about victory, I see, because of the number um, six here. It is about a victory, too. Okay, what is the near future energy? I'm wondering if that two of cups was near future. No, probably not. So, near future energy is three of pentacles. We're laying the groundwork, doing the research. We might be going off to school. That can be, I know that's not everybody, but you can also be ready for the teacher and the teacher will find us kind of deal. We could be getting advice or mentor from uh, somebody who has advanced pretty spiritually. Or this is about, hey, let's laying get it the groundwork right. here. Definitely laying the groundwork, receiving assistance from others and guidance taking this relationship or this partnership to new levels. Maybe this is a partnership with you in spirit and maybe this is about you getting out of stagnation because you're creating something. Justice and world are in the past. That would be the signs Libra, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, and Leo. 
a new chapter. I think this is about what you're thinking about. New chapter could be with a Capricorn. New chapter and justice. This is um, this is this. So it's the same. I think this energy carries over to here and to here. So how are you feeling, Aquarius? How are Aquarius feeling? Well, you're feeling like this is worth fighting for. This is a fight that you deem worthy here. So you are going to stand up for this. Um, but I don't know if we know what this is. I think right now all we know is that there's a bunch of little arguments going on. And we're not going to back down. So what is how uh, the energy around you is influencing things, Aquarius. How's the energy around you? Commitment. Either it's it's starting a commitment, and that's why it's like this, or um, it's about a Taurus and a commitment. It can be about that. It can be about signing legal papers. Like I said, partnership can mean anything here since it's a general. It's a hierophant. Doing things traditionally, a traditional way. Oh, goodness. This is the hope and fear, though, guys. This is the hope and fear. So, thank goodness, because this is what we're fearing. This might stop us from moving forward, is that fear there, that tower moment. But sometimes you go through these in order to get to these good things. But I don't see that happening, because it would have shown up in other areas. Okay, the outcome for Aquarius. What's your outcome, Aquarius? Next 48 hours. Being um, kind of to yourself. Ooh, yeah. Maintaining this balance. This is that two of pentacle energy I was telling you about with that dances on one foot. I feel like that has something to do with it. So balancing the ups and downs. This could be fluctuations in money. This could just be talking about the general ups and downs that we go through in life and the need to reassess things going inside. There is a journey that even though something needs to be balanced out with a partnership, there is part of this journey that you know is just yours and yours alone. So the um, Two of Pentacles, it's big change. And I see the 1111 again here. You're like getting ready, Aquarius, to let your light shine. You're finding your authentic self with this hermit. You're doing your research. It's really good. All right, moving on to the dream totems, responsibility. Something about this is about responsibility, confident. Anything else for Aquarius? Well, let's get you some angel number messages too, and then we're going to wrap up your reading. Wow, 15, and that was what was right up here. So that's a big message to you all in 33. All right, so confidence says you confuse confidence with ego. There is no shame in confidence. It's all about knowing who you are and what you want. And most importantly, having the courage to stand in your own power, which I fe I'm feeling, you know, sometimes it's stressful and it feels like standing up for yourself with the seven of wands, but this is the five of wands. And I feel like you're standing up being confident that you can win this thing, this competition. We have a responsibility with this new partnership or partnership. It might not be new, new, because I can't really, you know, say that for sure. But we have become discriminant about the people that you choose to help. There are too many people in your life that don't take responsibility for themselves and instead rely on you to sort things out. 15, big message. Your love for others is powerful and you're able to spread your gift of support far and wide. You come into contact with a variety of people who would benefit to learn from your heartfelt words of wisdom. I am wise. 33, I'm expanding. Any positive changes or projects that you are considering right now will be well worth your effort. And that your power to manifest and create will be heightened at this moment. I am expanding. Good news. Good news for you, Aquarius. All right, guys. Thanks for joining me. Sending you much love and light. I hope you have a great next 48 hours. And I'll see you next time. Bye.